Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Next Day Survival Episode 2 for our series. And last time we left off we had uh, been brutally murdered by a guy shot in the back of the head by a man named Gnarly Bastard which felt pretty fitting. It was kind of disappointing but if it makes you guys feel any better I actually... Huh, as I was sitting at the death screen was I was like going over and uh, moving my audio software around real quick and... I watched him get shot in the back of the head by somebody else, so it felt kind of uh, proper, but I went ahead and rolled a new character, and here we are, and we are actually already somewhat geared out and in the same location. I figured I'd skip a little bit of the stuff there, so that way you guys can see um, some more of the, you know, maybe hopefully finding a gun or something, right? So I figured if I skipped, uh, we might be able to see some stuff, but yeah. I might also die like right now, who knows. This seems to be a pretty hot area from what I've, uh, what I can tell. Uh, people seem to really like hanging out here a lot. I don't want to take any chances, but. Okay, yeah, speaking of people hanging out, there's two guys right down there in that f friggin' store. I'm pretty sure he saw me. They're probably like talking to each other right now. I wish I could equip this as a weapon or like equip the screwdriver and I'll put it through his eye. They're totally going to run up this way. Uh, let's just like try to find a gun. Oh God, I saw that and I was like, ah, oh, we're doomed. There's people right there, but it's not what that was. Uh, there's a backpack, but we've already got the traveler's backpack. We've got the black version of it. I wouldn't mind having the camo, but just because I think the camo is really cool. Um, this looks like a school, so I don't think we're going to find a gun here, per se. I hope those guys, like, next mission is not to come up here. Wow, we just threw that backpack. I don't know, I don't see them, so I feel like they're going to be up here. Maybe not, though. It looks like they might have went somewhere else. This must be a really popular town. Let me take a look. Where am I? So I guess I'm right by the neutral settlement, which seems to be where everybody spawns. So it's probably the first place everybody heads. If I went down to this military base here, I could probably get pretty geared up. Maybe we should just do that. It really probably is not worth me hanging out in this area. Looks quite editable. Um, I'm going to use this. Other than that, the school doesn't seem to have anything of use. We haven't found a single item. So I guess let's head out. Those guys are still in there, by the way. So we're just going to completely just head this way. I don't even know if I can get around this fence, because you can't hop it, I don't think. I was hoping there might be like a gap somewhere back here, but now it's looking like... Oh, right there. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Now, how bad do we think the military base is? How many players are on the server? Only five. So the fact that there's only five players and two of them are right here lets me know that I bet the military base is a fairly empty area. I mainly want to head there because, like I said, I want to get, like, really geared up. And we're, like, right... We're in, like, the largest town near the starting area, so I feel like we're going to just... We're bound to run into players here if we don't branch out. Oh, what's this? Maybe a gun or something? No. A melee weapon? Anything? No. Nothing. At least nothing I'm not like seeing available right out the gate. Alright, if we were to head to the military base. Okay, there's a military base here, I believe. It's a factory. But we want to just run right down past the looter settlement. So we'd have to go. Let's see. We'd have to run through a whole lot of nothing. I 
I don't know. There might be other stuff out here. We might find something. Hidden in the woods. I, I don't think everything's marked on the map. But I'm hoping that this doesn't turn into like running simulator. 2017 or something. I'm kind of hoping we have a little bit more luck than that. Already though, out here in the woods and I'm not seeing much. Appears to be some vehicles and a gas station or something. Reminds me a little of uh, Daisy, just because of the hay bales and everything around. It's just it's very fitting. But I think Daisy took place in Chinaris, which was essentially like I think Ukraine area or something like or something like that. Okay, this is supposed to be like a looters area so we're probably gonna die pretty quickly but that's a helicopter right there and I can't pass up the opportunity to run up to it and see what we got are those people up there oh they are yeah those are people standing in those guard towers or NPCs anyways they'll probably shoot me on sight Oh, that guy's waving at me. It's an NPC. We well, wave, so that's a good thing. Oh, he, oh, oh God, he just he he waved at me and then he crouched down, drew a gun, and shot me. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, that's funny. Oh man. <laughs> I really thought he was going to like give me something. I didn't think he was going to give me a face full of lead. Oh, I hope he's not chasing me. I got to stop him and bandage up. I think we're all right. Yeah, I don't see him coming through the woods. Let's see, Ooh, that's not that's my steam. All right. Yeah, I don't see him. Oh, so now what directions has got us running back? But we can hit this road and come down. All right. So it's not all hopeless just yet. We are pretty beat up. Oh, crap. I apologize for that. It's easy when you're holding the shift key to accidentally make that mistake. Okay, let's use a first aid kit. I think that'll heal us up a little bit. Seems to be helping. I'm taking everything in there, so... Yep, there it goes. It's not great, but it's better. Okay, here's the little road right here. Some type of dirt road. You can collect some berries, I guess. All right, here we are on the road. We're going to follow it. into one of these towns I'm feeling pretty good not a whole lot of players there's still five of us so I feel like if I can make it to the military base or what appears to be I don't even know if it's a military base I've never been to it but it looks like a military base and I feel like if I can make it there I can get really well equipped and I feel like with the amount of players that are on the server I, I, I think it's gonna be a fairly empty location we can hit this house here. I doubt there's anybody here. I mean, why would there be? What's there, you know? Nothing. If if there was anything, it'd be like NPCs. But let's definitely, yeah, let's definitely pop into this house. Say hello. See if there's anything that's going to be useful. There's a wolf, so, yep. Yep, there's that. We're going to try to hopefully 
lose him as he attacks us. Like we're in any position for that kind of crap right now. Yeah, I was hoping I could shut that door, but I can't, but that's all right. Activated carbon. We're going to need that. Raw potatoes. All right, there we go. Now we're going to bust some people up. I'm going to tell you that right now. That wolf is about to get it. There's a pistol under that bed. I'm just hoping it has some ammo. No rounds. Ugh. That wolf is still lurking out there in the most creepiest of fashions. I don't even know how to... Okay. Do we have any ammo for it? No. Okay, let's eat these. It's another traveler's bag, it looks like. Yep, it is. Um, we could technically pick it up and store it. So we'll pick it up for now. Um, we'll... Keep everything else on us. What's this up here? Jar of smokeless powder, okay. Okay, he's back over there. Okay, we're gonna have to fight him, so let's try this. Hey, we did it! And we got some achievements, too. Hunter and Crazy Hunter. Crazy Hunter, because I probably because I melee'd him. Are we okay? No. And we are bleeding. Luckily, we have, we have this bandage. Which, without it, we definitely would die right now. Now, is this a working vehicle, or what? It looks like it should be, but I don't think it is. Its placement makes me feel like it is. I can't seem to interact with it. Okay, we need to use this first aid kit right here. I'm hoping this will really heal us up. Probably could have better picked a better place to use it, but it's at seventy six percent, so we'll get to see right now what it does. Ooh, twenty six, great. I pretty much healed us up. We gotta find more though. Maybe down the base, uh, the military base. Or whatever it is. And with that being said, that's that little building there. I see there's a little, some houses off a river there. We're not even going to go anywhere near that. We're just going to keep going south. Got to be careful. I think I saw another wolf out here somewhere. No, it must have been the same one. I'd be interested to go to those houses next to that lake. But I mean, I honestly doubt there's anything there that's worth grabbing. But if you were going to build like a base, that'd be the place to do it. I'm almost sure of it. You know, thinking about it though, you go to a military base. I mean, I bet there's tons of like NPCs there, right? Maybe. I wish the vehicle spawned gear. They might, but as far as I can tell, tell, they don't. I've looked at enough vehicles now that I'm not even wasting my time with it because I've looked at so many and it's just I've never seen anything. There's a wolf out there. I see him. We could probably fight him again and win, but I don't want to because we're running low on um, first aid. And you know what? I just, Crap, I did that again. You know what? I just realized, too, um, I used the bandage, but I bet the first aid kit would have stopped the bleeding. But you live and you learn. I'm just glad I got a fire axe, so now I feel like I can actually do something. I can, like, defend myself. Because if a wolf chases us, we're not going to be fast enough to outrun it. So at that point, we may as well just, you know, turn around and face it. And unless we could shake him off, a, you know, shake his aggro, dodging through some buildings or something. But you just, you never know. All right, here we go. We're in this town. I need a break. Well, you'll get a break in a second once we start searching through these houses. 
I feel pretty confident we're not going to find anybody down here. Like I've mentioned before, not very many people on this server right now. And really, most people seem to be hanging around those two starting towns near the beginning. I don't think there's too many people down here. Now, I did see a bear right there. Yeah, I want nothing to do with that. We're actually going to see if we can sneak out of this area and just completely avoid that bear. I don't think we can. He sounds mad. Okay, there's a gun there though, so if it's got ammo, we're gonna shoot that bear to death. That bear sounds mean. It has no ammo, 12 millimeter, so it takes this, but. We don't have a clip I don't think that we can use. Oh, wait. Okay, that bear is going to die. But now we've got now we've got a gun. Congratulations everyone. We are loaded, locked and loaded. We're ready to go. Let's grab a couple other stuff. There's a lot of stuff here, mainly food. A lighter could be useful. I'm just glad we got a gun. It's like it's about time. And the fact that I had that ammo on me was perfect. Jogging shoes and gray pants. I'm pretty content with what we're wearing. Oh, we'll grab that black cap, though, so we don't stick out like a sore thumb. Actually, we could have just worn this one. Let's... All right. Hey, a catch bolt. So I guess you could make your own weapon of what I'm getting from that. Okay, it sounds like that... Yeah, make, make a makeshift rifle. Sounds like that bear's moving away. Nah, he's still out there. Right there he is. Okay, here he comes. Got him. That was an interesting kill. Can we do anything with him? Yeah, we could flay him. I think I need a knife for that. Can I use the axe for it? Yes, I can. Alright, we're going to get some meat. I just need to figure out how to start a fire. I could probably use the axe to... To get one started, what is the sound for flaying this bear? It sounds like somebody, f I'm sorry, it sounds like somebody f fisting a mayonnaise jar. All right. Oh, I guess we could flay him some more, huh? Well, we'll get another piece of meat. And then we might go ahead and cut a tree down or something or whatever we need to do to get some wood. We've got a lighter so we can get a fire started. I'm just happy to have a gun. I should probably keep it out just in case. We run into another player. Okay, I could probably keep going, but you know what? Two's enough. We're good for ammo, right? Yeah. I'm usually pretty hesitant to go around and discharge my weapon, but I wasn't really sure. Like, I feel like that bear's the kind of creature in the game that could, like, one-hit me. And then on top of that, I'm fairly confident that we're the only ones here in the area. And if we're not, then we're going to pay the price for it. But I think we're all right. So we'll go ahead and do some more searching around. Find another weapon. This appears to be a shotgun. Yeah, and I got shotgun, right? Oh, actually, it just takes a... Oh, okay, so it takes the same ammo we've got. Cool. Well, um, hmm. I'll keep it just for the sake of having another gun. Maybe I could trade it or... Take the breathing mask because we can. They just prevent you from getting more colds. Oh, more ammo? No, it's a 9 by 19 
Um, I'm just going to put this on. It repels mosquitoes. Probably pretty worthless, but I need to burn through some of the stuff I've got because I'm running out of room in my inventory. What we really need is another first aid kit. Wish I could jump over this fence. Have the gun out just in case. You never know. Like I said earlier, and I've said it again, I'm confident we're alone, but... Try not to let my guard down if I can help it. A knife and a hat, not really. We're kind of looking for more ammo. This is what we're looking for. Not enough space, so we can take. We could probably let's see. Might come in handy for making ammunition and smoke grenades. Well, we could drop one of those because I don't think we're going to be making our own ammunition anytime soon. I don't think we're at that level, but we do got a first aid kit here, which is great because we can use this one and then grab that one. While we're doing that, just want to take a look at the map. Yeah, so the depot's over here. All right, so we're a little ways away still. We got to walk. All right, now we can grab this one. There we go. The upstairs parts of these house seem to have some pretty good loot. It definitely seems to be always a good place to get clothes and a good backpack. Like it's another, oh, that's a medium backpack, so maybe not this time around. Marinade pickles, though, they seem to be a pretty good meal. We'll actually use these. I'm sure they're not as good as marinade pickles, so. I got the achievement diet, cool. I'm getting a bunch of achievements right now. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was the stuff I dropped. Alright, and I think with that being said, we're going to leave it off here as we are out of time. So I think this is a good spot to leave it. I'll hide right up in the upstairs of this house. Uh, so that way I know when I spawn back in later, I'm in a somewhat safe location. Even have my gun out when I log out. So that's what we'll do. And then next time, oh, was, I guess eating those berries poisoned us. Well, luckily for us, we've got antibiotics, maybe. Well, we definitely have painkillers. I think this... Yeah, that's antibacterial, but we're probably fine. Well, either way, I'll deal with it. Yeah, we'll just take a first aid kit if we have to. But we won't worry about it now. I think it'll pass. Usually food poisoning is not something to be concerned about. But you never know in these games. Anyway, like I said, we're going to leave it off here. Next time, we're going to head to the... Uh, we're going to try to head towards the depot and whatever this military base area is. See if we can get some good gear. Maybe we'll try to kill a pillar or two, and we'll see where things go from there. So thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.